welcome back to my channel guys for this video i'll be looking at food processing in hong kong and the caribbean let's go so what is food processing food processing is the action of performing a series of mechanical or chemical operations on food in order to change or preserve it now let's look at food processing in hong kong now, food processing is basically one of Hong Kong's most successful and the fastest manufacturing industry. So let's look a little bit more at some of the products that are produced in Hong Kong. So they produce fish, sauces, ducks, festival, cakes, noodles, seasoning, pasta. So some of the noodles that we eat in the Caribbean, they are from Hong Kong. Now let's just look a bit more at the location. Now most of these factories that are developed in our day manufacturing industry, they are located close to the ports because they facilitate the import and the export of products. Now the labor it is relatively cheap they use local labor and it is relatively cheap and before i get to the market the type of raw material used in hong kong is usually imported products so they import their raw material and they process it into their finished product and then they export them for sale the market their market is mostly mainland china mainland china and hong kong right now let's just look at some other trends in manufacturing in Hong Kong. So the industry basically has attracted considerably foreign investment due to their, their rapid growth and the, the booming of the manufacturing industry in Hong Kong. They have a lot of foreign investors who are very, very interested in basically investing in this industry. Now, one of the reasons for the rapid growth of Hong Kong's food processing sector is its strict food hygiene standard. Now, the high levels of food safety gives the Hong Kong the edge over food processing on mainland China, which accounts for the high levels of trade. So they have a very strict food hygiene standard that must be followed. So this basically gives them the edge over mainland China as well as other parts of the world. So they have a very good food hygiene standard. Let's look at some of the future challenges. Now the industry needs to be constantly adapting to changes in the Chinese market. There is an increase in demand for Asian items such as rice, coconut milk, ginger and curry spices. And there is the demand, there is demand on increase for healthy products such as low cholesterol dairy products as well as low sugar and low salt products. So it's not only in Hong Kong but worldwide as persons become more health conscious, they start to demand products that are aligned to that nature. So they want products that are low in sugar, that are low in salt, that are low in cholesterol. So the Hong Kong manufacturing industry will have to basically adopt and make changes to suit its market. Let's just look at food processing in the Caribbean. Now in the Caribbean, we process both locally and imported raw material. So we get some of our raw material from our agricultural sector as well as we import some of those products. Some other products that we produce in the Caribbean are like sugar, rum, fruits, nuts, coffee, cocoa, dairy, meat, fish, sweets, juice, seasoning. So we know that, for example, like Barbados, they do rum and yogurt. Jamaica does rum and jerk sauce. Trinidad does canned juices and ketchup. Let's just look at the location. Now in the Caribbean, in the Caribbean, many of our industries are located very, very close to the crops or the livestock producing area. And some are located close to the seaport. Now the ones located close to the seaports are usually the ones 
that imports most of their raw materials as well as participate heavily in export for the ones that are located close to the livestock or the crop these are the ones who produce their raw material for example sugar as we talk about the labor the labor is usually local and it is relatively cheap The mar our market is the Caribbean and the U.S. So the our market in the Caribbean is within the Caribbean and U.S. So let's look at some of the trends and challenges. Now the food processing industry depends on a constant supply of raw material and its vulnerability to the seasonal variation. No. Now, within the Caribbean, we have a lot of persons who participate in agriculture who will oftentimes supply these manufacturing industries with the raw material. However, due to seasonality in agriculture, because it could be that there was a storm or there's some form of natural hazard or some problem that affected the yield, there is an increase in imported raw material. Because of the decline in agriculture, we realize that most of the manufacturing industries, they are now importing their raw materials or the material that they want to use in their product is not produced locally. Now, while there are some large factories in the Caribbean, we also have a lot of small scale cottage industries often employing like less than 10 persons. Let's just look at food processing in Jamaica. Now, sugarcane is, we know that it is one of Jamaica's main man, uh, manufacturing or food processing areas. Now, sugarcane, it is processed in factories that are located in the main sugar producing area. So, they usually they are located in the center of the sugar field or close by, right? and the rum they produce the rum factories are located a bit further away from the sugar producing areas as well as the molasses factories they are usually extension of the sugar mills and are owned and operated as an end stage in the process now we can look at the flour mill that's another example and other food processing factories include a flour mill which is concentrated in the kingston area and this basically benefits from the urban force the urban workforce where a large local market and export opportunity so it is located in the capital city and because of the high urbanized rate there there's a lot of persons in the kingston region so it benefits from the urban workforce there is also a large local market in that urban area as well as the opportunity to export now with the food with the flour mill it's jf mills they basically import the product and then they let us look at food processing in guyana now, food processing in Guyana is concentrated at the coast. Now, in the south of the island the Gu of Guyana, there is a large modern meat processing factory at Lethem. It's located within a major ranching area. And beef is processed for sale in Guyana and nearby Brazil. Now, there are plans to develop an organic beef industry in the area. Now, in addition to beef, there is also a cash nut processing factory in Guyana. For your examination, you need to just be able to differentiate between food processing in Hong Kong and any named Caribbean country. Once you're able to do that, you should be on your way to getting your grade one. We are at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and please remember to like, share, subscribe and turn on your post notification bell in order to receive more videos like these. Leave comments below suggesting topics that you would want me to present on. In the comment section below, 
comment the name of your school and the territory for a shout out in my next video. Until then, bye!